Let's Get Painting. Today I'd like to uh, share with you how I go about painting a landscape painting with Rebel 5 Pro. Okay, the first thing is um, looking at our color sets. So Rebel came with a wonderful color set that is um, all of the main colors that you would use as an artist. Now there's tons here. I'm scrolling over here on the right hand side of the screen. So what I did was I made a copy of this and then created my own smaller color set. So now I'm really just working with one, two, three, four, five uh, key colors that I particularly like with cobalt blue, cerulean blue, burnt umber, burnt sienna, alizarin crimson. And then these two were actually created uh, from mixing these. So you can easily do that. The other thing that's really exciting about Rebel 5 Pro is this uh, color pigments uh, that you can turn on. And when you do that, it really mixes more like traditional paints rather than digital paints. Digital paints tend to um, kind of gray out a little bit more where traditional paints, this keeps a lot of the, the vibrance uh, there. So with that, um, we left off using a filbert and we we're gonna go ahead and use that. One of the other things that I did was I opened up a reference image and you can get to that through the window and find your reference image and get started. So with that, let's give it a shot. I think the first thing that I like to do is I'm going to reset the brush so that we have a smoother surface and I'm going to sketch in. So let's see, with that, I think this is about a third. Um, going to be the entrance here. Okay, so we'll sketch in. All right. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set this, I have to turn off color pigments to do this, but I'm going to set this in a multiply so that it will shine through my canvas. Then I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to put this one on top and I'm going to lock that, move that over so that I can lock it. And now I'm going to paint on this one. And you could do this a number of different ways. You could actually, um, you could actually have used this as a underpainting, you can mix with that, all of that. But in this case, I'm just going to use it as a sketch that remains there until I want it to go away. Um, so with that, let's see, the first color I think I'll start using is my green, which was mixed with my burnt ember and cobalt blue, I believe. I'm going to just start adding some in, and this is really my base. And the important thing, the way I like to paint is in the paint and blend. When you first open Rebel, um, it actually, the paint and blend is not selected. So you have to go back and select that. So now I can just mix as I go, which I really like to do, which is my preferred method for painting. And the other thing is when you're doing that, you can actually cut in and cut out, which is a wonderful feature when you're in that paint and blend mode. Uh, so it's kind of like you can erase too. Um, let me go over here, start putting in some of these guys. And it's also the same kind of almost like using terps um, if you're doing oil painting that you can get a real thin mix uh, using this as well. 
See how it's kind of terpy there. Sky, of course. Um, let's see. Shall I do this? out some of this for my reflections just because I'm in the paint and blend mode. Add in a little Looks like we need to get some burnt umber in here. Um, oops. I'd like it to mix more. Okay, add a little over here. Let's get rid of this sketch. We can see what we're doing. Okay. okay. By the way, that's having that sketch and the multiply was something that I learned from Karen Boniker, who's an excellent digital art teacher. Uh, she mostly teaches in Painter, but she does have some courses in Rebel, and I think more are coming. We need a little dark down here. And I'm going to turn on the pigments again so you can see that ooh, pigments really bright things up, didn't they? Doesn't look like much now, does it? Hopefully it'll look better by the time we're through. <laughs> uh, now that I've done that, I think we need to really cool these down. Uh, when I turned on the... in cut out lots of ways to make this work as we go back we need to lighten those up okay, okay. so we've got your basic block in darkened up. 
as you can see, the filberts continuing to provide that real traditional feel. Okay, let's go back over here, see what's going on. All right, now, let's see, let me make sure I get some of this color into sky color. demo so forgive me for the learning process own style will take uh, will certainly take over and not be my style but some texture to this brush and really start to go to town. So in order to add the texture, we go to the brush creator, um, we pick our grain. I'm going to go up here and pick uh, something different and we'll try that one out. Remember we have to hit tiled green, random angle um, before we're going to get any texture at all. So let's see what we can do. I think this still needs to have more darkness, so I'm going to add more darkness as I go. texture. Let me pick uh, another one. Let's try this one. Okay. We're going to add a little more texture over here in darkness. Just add in some randomness. is really working there. Let's pull up some of this. I don't even have to change color on my brush. I can just pull it up because I'm in the paint and blend mode. Mix, as 
if I go, let's see. What do I want to do here? I'm going to add a little. Uh, obviously, it's artistic license. dark over here. Grab some dark here. I did that with the option key to select some color. Yeah. Need to improve the reflections. and impressionistic uh, I forgot I had my brush loaded with green, so I'm going to go back and improve that.
shall we call that done? Let's. Um, so one of the things if you'd like to do, which I think is really exciting, is to add a glaze. So let's add a glaze. Looks like we could stand to brighten this up a little. Um, what color shall I use? I think that's a good job for burnt umber. And I like to go to the watercolor for glazes. I actually made my own. It was based off the round. Um, well, why don't we just use the round? Okay. Okay, so let's just... I've obviously got a texture included in that, but I showed you how to add textures. So you can pause this or you can just let it roll. So maybe I'll just let it roll for a while. Um, in order to change the blend mode, you have to turn off the pigment, unfortunately. But you do. Let's try some blend mode. So that's the overlay. Um, soft light, nah, hard light. No, probably overlay. Looks good. Oh, there's is another exciting one. Color burn. No, that didn't work. But you can experiment here. So I think overlay looks good to me. I'm going to... Eh, I guess I'll go ahead and pause that. And I'll also adjust the opacity. So I'll unpause. Let me unpause. And you know what? I don't think I like those. Um, I don't particularly like the texture marks there that I had. So I'm going to put it on blend. And I'm going to reduce my brush and just kind of blend those out. So, totally personal choice. So with that, I think I'll still add another layer and maybe do a little bit more brightening. Um, I think I want to add a little bit more here and there. Um, maybe I'll do a little more blue. Places. Maybe I'll add a little blue. You see, it's just all a matter of playing. I'm going to let that one roll and uh, let the watercolors do their thing. And then I think we're probably just about ready to call it a day. Uh, maybe I'll add a little more excitement in here. should we do? Uh, I think I want a little more pizzazz. So how's that? That's going to add a little. Okay. I think a little bit more. The tops of those trees. my edges out. And in order to do that, I'm 
going to turn off my texture. these layers and we do that by merge layers I'm going to do some cleanup oh, I don't like some of those edges Okay, let's finish up. So, art is of course all in the eye of the beholder. What do I think I want to fix? I think I'm going to adjust the colors and value variation here. Bring that in slightly. Um, Again, because I have that paint and blend mode on, it's just I can move paint around however I see fit, and I love that. So I can just push it up here, move it where I want. And I shouldn't have any bright colors there, so move those down. I need to I want to adjust some things here. That looks too perfect. Okay, am I happy with that? I think maybe I'll mess some of this up a little bit more. I like to go from the texture to the smoothing, which I'm happy with. option to go grab that color Okay, I 
think I'm getting ready to call it done. Let me just, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more darks in here. Go over and grab some of these. And then I'm gonna blend those in. to call it done. I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to sign it with a pencil. I've got 4B. I'm going to sign it with my Lizarin Crimson. And a little bit larger. Nope, didn't like that at all. Back out of there. Keep that baby small. Seem to be having trouble, so I'm gonna go up here with my, I'm gonna do it big, and you're gonna say, my goodness, look at that signature. I'm gonna go over here to the transform tool, so a chance to learn something else. Shrink it down, that's about the right size. Grab it, when you get the this, grab that, put it where I want it. And now, wow, that's way too weak. I'm gonna go grab the brush just to get rid of the, what I'm going to do now is duplicate that layer, so here, Duplicate, uh, here duplicate again, and okay, let's try just a couple more things. Did want to point out that in the window screen you can get to the navigator, and the navigator is an excellent tool. What One of the most important things about it is you can easily get to grayscale. So if you click on grayscale, now your entire image uh, goes into grayscale, which is very helpful. So now it's time to really check how did we do with our values and do we still need to push some things back and at looking at this i would tend to say yes it looks like we still should try to push some things back so i'm going to uncheck the grayscale i'm going to add a new layer and i think i'll go to the cobalt blue and i will mm, try to add some color here and i tend to like to do this going to click on this to get that out of the way. I tend to like to do this with the watercolor and try things out. So I make my brush big and I'm going to try to, I didn't like how much I'm going to, I use the command Z to backspace. Oh, and one of the things I love to have on is the paint and blend. As soon as you open it up, the paint and blend goes off. I'm also going to pause diffusion while I do this. Yeah, the paint and blend, see it can come on much lighter. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit, a little bit here too, but mostly here. And I do have some texture currently turned on, as you can see. Now I'm going to turn off the pause diffusion, see if I like what happens. Um, and if I don't, I can always blend it or do something else. Actually, it does kind of soften it pretty well. I'm not particularly liking those little white things that are coming up, but I think they'll go away one way or the other. Okay, I'm going to pause diffusion again. I'm going to clean those up with the blend. I'm putting on the blend. I'm going to blend those out. And since I'm working on a layer, which is really critical, I can actually erase parts that I don't like. I didn't like how it went over the trees there, so I'm going to bring that back in. Okay. Okay, so make sure there's none over here. Can't keep my trees dark there. Okay, let's uh, let's see how we did. Let's go back up to the navigator. Um, go to grayscale, and that certainly is better. We could probably push it back a little more. Um, all in what you want to do. So. Maybe I will try pushing some of these back just a hair. I'm going to leave the paws on. I'm going to make my brush bigger, go back to the paint and blend brush, and and add that in. Okay. I'll cover up some because I know I can go back in and erase. Okay, let me go back to the erase, make my brush smaller, erase where I don't want it. Okay. Now, 
let's check again. Okay, I think that's looking like we have a fair amount of depth. I think that's really good. Um, so I'm gonna save my work, file, save, and now I'm going to try one other thing.